So hey guys, Luke here, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a good day, week, month, life, whatever it is you are up to currently. I hope you're enjoying it and you're smiling. It's been a little while since I've made anything or since I've spoken to you on here. I've been super busy, um, you know, being a uni student and all. Second year film is a lot more intense than first year film. Um, and I'm just trying to stay ahead of the ball, you know, stay ahead of the game. I'm planning my dissertation and everything and uh, just trying to work out a lot of things because I do have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cool things planned for the future of not only this channel, but my life. I thought today I would just talk about my films that I've made at uni because I've, I've sort of, you know, touched on them before and mentioned them briefly, but I haven't actually gone into detail or shown you them. So, so far, as part of my studies here at Falmouth, I've made two films. Well, I've been part of two film productions. They're not my films. <laughs> the two films in question are called Anamkara and In Between. We'll start with Anamkara. Uh, I made that in my first term. I was the writer for the film, and it was the first ever film production and film set that I've been a part of. Now, Anamkara, meaning soul friend or soul mate in Celtic, uh, was 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 a five minute short. Sure. It came from a place of wanting to make a romance film, but wanting to give it a twist and not just create something generic. So with the help of the other five crew members, um, we decided to tell a story about platonic love instead of romantic one. Now, Anamkara follows our protagonist, a young woman working in a coffee shop or a cafe um, in a very mundane, monotonous life. She's stuck doing the same routine and she feels very isolated, something that I think most uni students can <laughs> sympathise with, so that was kind of like our target audience was young adults. One day whilst clearing tables she finds a notebook on one of the tables and takes it home and begins to sort of flick through the notes and read them and she realises that whoever wrote this book, whoever made these notes, is very similar to her. They're also lost and confused and, and questioning the world around them and she realises for the first time, possibly forever, that she's not alone. She essentially falls in love with this stranger but not romantically, just in the way that they think and who they are as a person and she begins to track them down following the notes and passages and photos in the notebook. She dives into the poem that has been written and uh, tracks the author through their, their, their path, through these locations that they've been to, until eventually she ends up at a cliffside by a castle ruin. She sits down, ready to sort of give up on her search, uh, because the author is nowhere to be seen, and as she reads the final passage, um, the author of the notebook approaches from behind her and finishes the passage as she's saying it. Very cliche, but whatever. Overall, it was a really interesting process to see because, as I said, I wrote it and um, throughout the entire thing, obviously, I had no control over the um, storyboards or the cinematography. So to see how someone else took what I wrote and interpreted it was really interesting and unique to, 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 to see. And although it is quite cringy and cliche to watch now, I'm proud of it still. And it's I'm proud to see how far we've all come. Um, and I make a small cameo in it, so even better. But as with both of these films, I'll link it down below so you can watch the entire thing without me talking over the top. Um, and yeah, just go check it out. It's 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 all right actually. You know, got a, got a, got a two one for it. So <laughs> in between was my second term film, and I was the producer. Now I'd never produced before or done anything like producing, so this was all very very foreign to me. I didn't even know what it was I'd have to do. During the entire process I was very nervous and stressed because I had to manage a whole team. I had to manage the budget, I had to manage the locations and the casting, and although I did get help from everyone, it was my responsibility to control that all. And it's only now looking back that, well A, I'd real I realised what I'd do differently, and B, I quite enjoyed it. So the story follows a young girl called Anna. Her parents split up when she was young, and now that she's older, and it's around the time of the anniversary of the split, she's beginning to reminisce. She's lived with her dad for basically her entire life, and her mum walked out and left. And she's tried to reach Anna again, and so Anna is en route to meet her mother for the first time in presumably years. And so while she's walking to meet her mother, we get these series of flashbacks um, from Anna of her childhood. And um, she's just very nervous about meeting this woman again because she, it's not her mother anymore, it, it's just this stranger. And so the film ends on her arriving in a park where she used to play with her mother and uh, you know the mum is phoning her you know to, to say where are you and uh, 
Yeah, it's a very it's a very interesting, moving piece. Yeah, and it was a very challenging film to produce, for me at least, being a first-time producer. Um, because we needed a young girl, for one, and we needed some interesting locations. Finding the young girl was actually one of the easiest things to do. I just phoned up this acting uh, group in, in Truro, in Cornwall, and basically we got loads, loads of auditions. We got like 12 actresses to come along and, and, and yeah, it was great. And the locations were a bit tricky to secure. We had to find sort of a corner shop, a park, and um, a house with a kitchen and a bedroom and everything. Um, and so, you know, we, 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 did, we did well. And um, again, I'm very happy with the result. It was interesting to be a role that was something different to writing. Um, and instead I got a very great overview of the entire thing because I had to, I had to schedule it all. And everyone involved um, helped make something truly great. Um, and although again, there are bits that I would change if I were to do it again, but I think that's the case with any uh, piece of creative work. Uh, there, there aren't things that you don't love the entire thing. But saying that, you know, I got a first for it, so, you know, but grades aren't everything, so. But those are my two first year student films. Um, I've made a few small things on the side since, but those are the main ones. But I do think they give you a good overview of the sort of projects I'm interested in. Uh, sort of romance, drama, coming of age sort of thing. Um, and I do like writing and being involved in projects that have strong female protagonists as well. I just sort of unintentionally end up writing women um, and I'm trying to write better women, stronger women as well. Um, you know, being a white British male, it's very difficult for me. <laughs> but as I said, um, I've linked both of them down below. So if you want to go check them out, please do. And um, let me know what you think of them in the comments. And um, yeah, stay posted for, for future uh, films and videos and ideas, because I will use this as an outlet to, to pitch things. And I'm currently working on my first well, I say my first. I'm working on a feature film script um, and I'm also assistant director on a few projects. So a lot is going on for me in terms of film stuff. If you have any more film related questions, then drop them down below and I'll try and answer them. As always, I've been Luke. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then do the thing. You know how YouTube works. And I will see you again soon, whenever it is I, I upload. So <laughs> bye.